So here we are with the scene, um, me coming down from the spaceship, ready to take Superman with me. I remember the day was very, uh, very hot, and uh, Zach would say, there are the stairs where you're coming from, which was just basically green screen stairs. And he said, just give us this impression of, I mean, of this super warrior um, costume, you know. And I remember it like, okay, he has to walk and it's a long walk. And you really have time to feel it out and to actually, to wear the whole idea and the concept of being a Kryptonian warrior. And this costume is not easy to wear. It is actually tight, it is hot, and it's heavy. But it also gives you a lot of power and encourages you to play the character. So, and I remember talking to Michael Shannon, who actually, I mean, I was so glad to have an actual costume because Michael Shannon was giving his performance in a full capture suit, which actually looks like a pajama in a way. And we laughed about it and he would say, you're gonna be jealous not having a pajama. And he was right, because three days later, I felt like, gosh, I would love to have this kind of full capture suit. But for this particular scene, it was just awesome to have a costume, to feel it and to feel the character and to feel empowered to actually walk up to tanks, jets, helicopters and whatnot, so. Yeah. I will say if there's one thing I'm jealous of, it's those suits those Kryptonian girls get to wear. Those suits are really foxy. Those are so awesome. They're really cool. I mean, the guys look good in them too. They really do. But I mean, like, I remember I, I got to put on just one piece of their armor. It's, it's just the piece that um, allows me to breathe, the breathing apparatus. And I did feel a lot cooler wearing that. And I kind of... I was like, gosh, these are the coolest girls ever. And so I'm a little jealous, I have to say, of their suit. Hey guys, I'm back to talk a little bit about the Black Zero, how we shot it, and then also what is going on with Superman aboard the Black Zero. Now, this was a giant uh, green screen set. Uh, we had a floor and some little, uh, those monitoring pods, but no uh, walls. So all the walls and the glass were created in post. Um, and what's happening with Superman is he's, uh, at this point, he's breathing the Kryptonian uh, atmosphere. And because he's never breathed it before, it uh, is weakening him because he's not used to it. So um, we're getting an opportunity to see Superman at his very weakest as he adapts to the Kryptonian environment. So uh, let's just take a moment here where we see Fiora deals with the situation that Krypton, Krypton is dying. I mean, it's literally exploding in front of our eyes. For me, that was, it was a very important and um, special moment because that's the only moment where she actually, the way she's built, uh, you know, she is somebody who expresses herself through destruction and through brutal force. And that was the only moment where she actually falls apart because her home gets destroyed. And I remember the, that day, uh, because usually when the Kryptonians were on set, it was always loud. You know, it was all about destroying things. And that was the only moment where the set got very quiet and um, we had the chance to actually make an emotional moment out of it. Uh, 